What's up guys, welcome back by this new video, the last video of this season, so let's make something great, and yeah, tomorrow it will be the new season, so then I will make some new move, Pokemon, type of things, new videos about them, but right now just use a fun team, and just uh, finish this season with a bang so yeah mm. and right now into the first match I have in my team an Obstagoon, a Staraptor and an Escavalier it's all just more for fun but yeah we'll see how it will come out I'm switching straight into Staraptor I know Star Raptor is not the best one against Mantine, but I don't really have good things against this, so yeah. He goes for Ice Beam, I think. No Aerial Ace Bait, okay, fine. No, I wanted to uh, use a close combat. Okay, right now he probably uses an Ice Beam. No, once again, Aerial Ace Bait. I'm going for a close combat here. I think he will shield this one, to be honest. Yes, there's the shield. And it was a CMP tie, unfortunately. He can make an aerial ace one more time. That will KO me. I'll throw in back my Obstagoon. I can uh, win CMP here, that's very nice. And I'm going for the Night Slash. It should KO the Mantine perfect. Then in the back he has a Swampert. He will win CMP here, but that's fine for me. At this point. Hydro Cannon will not KO me. I can pretty easily tank it. I'm going with just for Night Slash. It will do some uh, decent amount of damage. I will continue with some counters. And he's going for his second Hydro Cannon. That will KO me. I'm throwing right now in my Escavalier. He will make to one more Hydro Cannon, unfortunately. But I still don't know what the last Pokemon is, so we will see that. Hydro Cannon. Um, if, yeah, I think I would win that one, if uh, he couldn't throw the Hydro Cannon, I think, yeah, I would win. Going for Drill Run, and he made, an, a, he makes a very nice deck, or maybe, maybe, no, maybe he could make a Mega one or, I don't know. No, he, got, he would have Fire Punch, so I will beat that anyway. Yeah, just like which uh, which Dicker Speed you really like. I think next season Dicker Speed maybe will be one of my Pokemon. Finally, but we will see that. But anyway, into the second match, which is going Obstagoon against Shadow Gligar. Ah, I forgot Gligar. <laughs> I don't have really counter for Gligar. He's throwing a water gun a lantern in. He even wins CMP. Okay, it's only a surf. It w should not KO me if I'm right. <laughs> oh, one HP. No way. Didn't expect it that. But right now I'm going for my close combat. This will do real massive damage. So that's very nice. Oh, I expect a bit more, but okay, it's fine. Going into my Escavalier. Uh, he will go for Surf, I will let it go, I don't need to shield it. I will just counter him down. Then Gligar will probably- no, Gligar isn't returning. Licky Tongue is- 
coming back. I'm going for Mega Horn here. This will do some nice damage. Switching into Obstagoon. There's the Gligar. Yeah, I need to shield that Aerial Ace. That's just the only problem here against the uh, Shadow Gligar or just the Gligar. But right now I'm going for Night Slash. This should do. Uh, maybe it should be, be shielded now, I think. Yeah, because I could probably get that boost. I will let this aerial ace go, and the next one I will have to shield then. Um, I will shield this aerial ace. No, I will not risk uh, a farm down here, so I'm deciding to go for a Night Slash here. Get shielded. Going for another Night Slash. It will KO. Then the Licky Tongue is only le what's left. Going for a Cross Chop. Switching into Lil into my Escavalier and Licky Tongue finishes me off. Ah, uh, maybe Licky Tongue is still a good Pokemon to have in uh, the Great League because it because of his stinkiness. But I think next season he will get the more Toxicog encounters against him. But still I have to make my new teams for next season and the new Pokemon. But I'm very excited for some of those, so but I don't really know which Pokemon I really want to make. I think the first video will be Polyrad, but I don't know that for sure. Oh my gosh, no, it's a Skeledurge. Going for the trail run here. Is going for super effective damage, but yes, as expected, it will be shielded. Going into Staraptor. He can go for disarming voice, that's fine, I can think that. Why is he throwing a shadow ball? Okay, I don't understand that, but that's fine. Yeah, I have to shield this one. It's the disarming voice once again. I have to uh, farm him down. And then hoping to that the Azumarill will make its return. He goes for disarming voice, that's fine. Oh no, it's a Frostless, that's not good. I'm going for that Brave Bird. Almost KOing the... Yeah, I cannot win. <laughs> I almost K I, I almost KO'd uh, Frostless, but I couldn't win. So, yeah. Into the fourth match. Mm. Mm. Yeah, we're going against Jordi, going Obstagoon against a Mandy boss. Very interesting. Uh, we're having a good lead here, so I'm for sure staying in here. Maybe getting an uh, attack buff here, hopefully. I'm switching into Escavalier. That one should be okay. He goes for probably Aerial Ace, maybe for a Dark Pulse Fall Play. Dark Pulse. I can tank it. He may go for another one. 
I uh, now you go for aerial ace bait. That's fine. Going for the mega horn just before I die. No way. I just made that mega horn. Will be shielded or not? It's catching, getting shielded. No way. <laughs> Going for Star Raptor. No Star Raptor with Gust. Still not the best Pokemon. He gives me a free Gust. Really appreciate that. And we'll shield probably bait attack. No, he goes straight through the Stone Edge. Really nice from the opponent. And we'll shield it once again, just in case. Something weird will happen. I'm going to snipe him off with a counter from my obstacle because that's a little bit faster. Will the mini bus return? That's the question. Yes, mini bus will return. I'm deciding to go for a crush chop. This will do maybe a little bit more. Then uh, a nice slash. He goes for an aerial ace at this point. I can tank that, so there's no problem with that. Okay, I'm giving him a free snarl. That's fine. I will go for the night slash here. In the back. He has a scissor. Ooh, this will be very hard. I know what his plan is. Deciding to switch into my Star Raptor. Hopefully it wasn't the CMP tie. Otherwise I'm dead probably. Close combat. Going for another close combat. And I'm finishing the job with Star Raptor. And it went very nice. Somehow. <laughs> So, yeah, into the last match of the season. Um, yeah, against NLAP. We're going Obstagoon against. Oh no, oh no. It's a shit load of Nine Tails. I hate those. Damage is even not very effective and it does massive damage against me. Going for, for the Mega Horn. This should do some nice amount of damage. Yes, it does. Very nice. Um, <laughs> I think I have to shield those uh, Ice Bunches twice. And then throw a uh, drill burr at the uh, Shadow Willowna Ninetales. I think that's the best thing to do here. Pressing for that Mega Horn here. Mega Horn against the Umbrian. Oh, it, it lands. Very nice. He will switch. No, he's not switching. Very interesting. Why the opponent doesn't do that? He goes for last research, switching straight into nice Star Raptor. Into Shadow Alola Nine Tails. Oh no, I hate that. Where the ball will KO me. I think to win I had to make maybe... No, I could, couldn't win here. At all time. But yeah. Still won once. Oh. We going, ending on 69 points, 24-69, but yeah. Anyway guys, 
the season was great. I made it to 100 subscribers in this season of the Go Battle League. Really uh, thankful for all your support, guys. And next season, maybe we will hit 200 subscribers. I really hope. It will be a very nice achievement, or maybe even 300, but we will see that. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the season and hopefully you watch the next one as well. And then, yeah, I will see you then into the next season tomorrow. Peace out, guys, and stay tuned for more.